Hello, hello and welcome to another update video about ADA. The ADA chart did grind a little bit higher today. However, continues to be stuck below our yeah, resistance range here. This overall target range, obviously, for the individual waves that we've placed here. And obviously, these Fibonacci levels, they act as resistances, okay? So let's talk about the overall scenario and then we talk about the micro count as well. Looking at the 4-hour chart, we can see the wave structure is absolutely unchanged. Um, we're still dealing with this same structure in which a wave 1 moved between June, the June lows, and the July highs. Wave 1 of a diagonal pattern. We had a wave 2, a wave 3, and this could be a wave 4. The question really is, is the wave 4 over or not? There's absolutely zero, zero evidence it is. That doesn't mean it couldn't be finished. It, it could absolutely be finished. The downside was sufficient. Yeah, it was sufficient. And it's also a complete downside structure. It's just that in this particular structure itself, due to the fact that it's in a diagonal, it's basically impossible to say now that the correction is over. There are certain things and, and structures that we're looking for to let's say predict that a low is over or to confirm it early, well, that the correction is over. See, and these clues don't always appear in diagonals and that's what it makes so difficult. That doesn't matter um, to really the use of Elliott Wave. We can still use Elliott Wave because Elliott Wave tells us where the correction ideally finishes. It's just that we will only know later. So, but if we know where the correction is likely completing, then we can, for example, use that information to, lo to look for entries. And it was um, probable for the correct, and still is probable for the correction to finish in this region between 50.8 cents and 34.5 cents. But we also highlighted that ideally the price doesn't even break below 39. So it's really the range between 39 cents and 50.8 cents. The price spent quite a bit of time there. And yeah, by all means, we could now be in this fifth wave to the upside. The fourth wave could absolutely have finished on the 23rd of January, just impossible to say it has. Um, and I will explain why, because it's it's possible that, for example, this structure that we're dealing with, it allows for a lot of different structures still to unfold. Let me zoom in and we talk about the different um, corrective structures, the extensions of the current correction first. In the most simple form, it's possible that this is simply a W x y structure as highlighted in white and the y wave is an a wave and the b wave and the b wave has looks pretty full yeah uh, looks pretty complete um yeah a so w x and a b and we could now come down in a c wave next highly probable it's just that i cannot predict this right it's just impossible to do that but we take a look at the micro support level that needs to break to confirm that this is happening. Very important. I would not see this as bearish. This would only be another pullback into the larger support area. Yeah. Now that's one option. The other option is that this is actually forming an Elliott wave triangle. I mean, it's possible that, for example, um, this here was an A wave. Yeah. Then we have a B wave triangle which would, so A wave here, the swing low that formed on the 8th of January. Then the triangle is an ABCDE structure, A wave up, B wave down, C wave up, D wave down, E wave up. Um, and this would be a B wave. And then we could still come down in the C wave later to maybe touch the trend line before it goes up. See, it's impossible to say that we are already um, done with this correction. It would be a guess and that's not helpful at all. Well, and then if the correction is over, it would obviously have completed here on the 23rd of January. Then the yellow wave count would be in play here, most likely. And I shared with you which, basically, which targets need to be reached to at least follow the yellow count here and call it a potential five wave pattern in development. It's just not high confidence. Yeah, it just isn't. Um, because... It's just a corrective mess that's moving here. Okay, so it's not meant negative, but it's just not very clear. For example, the wave one is a clear ABC structure, the wave two as well. 
The wave three is a bit ambiguous, could still turn into an ABC structure, um, which again would then be a diagonal pattern if it works out. It's just difficult, okay? But we have some parameters to watch. So to keep the yellow wave count still somewhat relevant, I need the third wave to reach minimally 59.6 cents, better would be 61.2 cents, then we should get a wave 4 pullback and the wave 5 should reach 64 cents. If the wave 5 reaches 64 cents and I've got 5 waves, well, or higher, okay, 64 cents or higher, and I've got 5 waves, well, then I could say at least, okay, at least we have some evidence that a low occurred, we can probably con confirm that we are in the fifth wave to the upside. And then after these five waves have occurred, we can add another support area that should allow the price to hold a higher low. But at the moment, yeah, what's what's the microstructure doing? I mean, it's, it's quite straightforward. We could easily call that a three wave move. And I cannot call it one, two, three yet because the third wave hasn't even reached a minimum target. So it could easily be another W, X, Y structure might have topped here and yeah, it might, you know, might be forming that triangle or whatever. I just, you know, these corrections can morph and change. So um, I just need to go into these explanations because I know a lot of people watch the TA video, they expect the answer, the count, but it just doesn't exist. Okay. So especially when we're dealing with diagonals or corrective structures, we just have to be flexible. So my task as an analyst is to show you a bullish pathway, yeah, but also which parameters need to be met for that and, and conditions, but also the risk, obviously, okay, in the white count. But then again, it, it would simply lead us back into that sort of accumulation range that we've got on the chart. So yeah, unfortunately, um, the market still needs to clarify its intentions. It hasn't done that yet. So I hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment, and subscribe and if you really like the content then please check out the channel membership also make sure that you follow us on instagram and twitter for additional content thanks a lot for watching bye bye